Beyond and Evil, Journey, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy IX, Resident Evil, Journey. <laughs> Are we going to get this going or anything? Dead Nation, Portal 2, PlayStation Store. Come on, I... <laughs> Did I really put this much time in the beginning for me to sync these up? Jeez. There we go. Resident Evil Director's Cut. <sighs> right? 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 Okay, press X. Press X. Past me. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut with MioX Fu. And as you might have been able to tell by that little finagling <laughs> this is post commentary um it's still blind gameplay don't worry about that it's actually really good blind gameplay like some of you are going to be like how did you get that on the first try this game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore i'll explain when we get there <laughs> capcom oh 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 okay everybody quiet my, my favorite scene No, Chris, run, run! No, don't go down the basement stairs! <laughs> oh my goodness. Every single time. Resident Evil. Director's got Dual Shock. TM version, press any button, Capcom Company Limited, 1996, 1998. <laughs> um. Don't know why I'm spending so much time on this screen. Come on, past me. Let's let's get going. Let's pick it up a notch. Yeah. How have you guys been doing, by the way? Since I don't have anything to talk about right now. Oh, look, we're going. Never mind. Oh, no, we're not. Be smart. Fighting foes is not always the way to survive. How have you guys been doing? <laughs> um, What have you guys been doing? Because, I mean, that's always an interesting thing to see in comments and such. Like, I've been watching Bacano very recently um again it's a 50s gangster anime <laughs> i don't know it's really good mixed with uh train murder mystery intrigue it's really good it's re it's got a lot of funny things it's got a lot of intriguing things it's just one of my top animes and i've been watched it in a while so i've been watching it lately you have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you why in a second, but Rock Paper Mario actually sent me like the clip from uh Star Fox with Peppy or no not Peppy, uh Great Fox going, Good luck. <laughs> I'll probably talk about that in this episode though. But for now, what am I getting past self? I don't remember what... I'm probably going to store the ink ribbon, because we don't need that until we need to save again. Getting rid of the shells, yep, because we don't have a shotgun. Uh, I think we keep on a hand on the lighter, because we need that to turn on the candle. <laughs> turn on the candle. <laughs> um, What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I was just seeing if it looped, I guess whole bunch of nothing in between. I think we actually needed to take the other mansion key with us as well, but we'll find that out later. <laughs> oh my god, I bet there's a zombie around the corner. Nope, because we killed them all. Oh yeah, a lot of this video is also spent checking other doors because we have a new key. Uh, just seeing if we can actually open them and stuff. I think we have a new key. If not, I know we get a new I know we get a new key in this video, so. Uh, but anyway. So, good luck. Let me explain that story. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm currently enrolled in a language course at my university for modern Irish. And for those of you that don't know, yes, modern Irish is a language. <laughs> Yes, it's usually called Gaelic, but Gaelic's a family of languages, much like Germanic or Romantic. Um, it is 
Irish ga- or Gaelic Irish or Irish Gaelic. I don't know what. It's modern Irish. Um, but I've been learning that for the past two semesters. And this summer, uh, I actually have the chance. Oh, yeah, this is just going around figuring out what rooms we've been in because it, it, it had been a week since I played this game. Um, but this this summer, I have the chance to win an award that will actually let me go over to Ireland and learn at a Gaeltacht. Gaeltacht. Tacht. <laughs> gotta get those, gotta get those, uh, Yiddish sounding CHs. <laughs> um, but what a Gaeltacht is, is it's a, an Irish speaking community. Uh, they're mostly in the west of Ireland. Uh, around... A lot of them in, are in Connemara, but there's some in Kerry, there's one in Cork, Waterford, uh, there's a bunch up in Donegal. Uh, but anyway, um, I'd be going to either the Kerry or Waterford one, or Cork one, if I, no, Kerry or Cork one, if I can. Um... But it's the same program that actually brought over our teacher, the Fulbright program. And I don't know, it's just a really cool opportunity. And I'd go over there and they'd pay for the tuition. They pay for food, transportation while I'm there. The only thing is that I have to pay for airfare to get over there. I've been looking at that and that's going to be like $1,000. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. But it's in July and I've been telling my parents about it now. So, between myself, my dad, and my mom, we think we can get the money together, uh, in time. Uh, which means, oh, it seems someone has already been here. It appears to be a switch. Will you press it? Ha- I still have the little panic moments because I'm like, oh my god, what's happening? Oh, okay. The fish tank is draining. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, no, it'd just be a really awesome opportunity because I'm I'm planning on doing an additional two semesters. I'm planning on being the, one of the first people that has Irish as my cl- critical language uh, at my university. And of course, I'd be over in Ireland for like two to three weeks, so... <laughs> But I gotta work on getting my passport because I don't have one of those. So I gotta actually start doing that right away in order to make sure that I would have it in time. I've got a good chance of getting the award too. Like a one in two chance because there's four people in the class that are applying for the award. Uh, so that's only four undergraduates. And two, they're able to fund two undergraduates. So I've got a pretty good chance that it's gonna, it's gonna work. But enough of that. Enough about that. <laughs> Let's get back to the puzzle at hand. As you'll see, I figured it out. I gotta push the fish tank to the side, push the bookcase, and then there's the safe. What does it have in it? Of course it has more shells, which are completely useless to me right now, because I still haven't fixed the shotgun. I have no idea how to go about doing that either, so... <laughs> uh, it's gonna be interesting to figure that out. Eventually. What could be behind door number two? Nothing. Ugh. I think this is just me going back down the stairs, going like, I should drop off the shelves so I have inventory space. And that looks like it's exactly what it is. <laughs> oh. So hopefully this will be uploaded today. Uh... April Fool's Day. <laughs> um, I already uploaded my April Fool's video, in case you guys have seen it. Uh, pony cart. <laughs> the pre-alpha. I had a lot of fun with that. I'm really glad that I did it. Um, I don't think that a lot of people will get as much amusement out of it that I had making it. But I don't care. Because I'm doing it as much for myself as I am for anybody who's watching the video. And I, I honestly did have a lot of fun making that. Um, oh 
God, we're not even a third of the way through this video. I'm uploading this all at once, by the way. I don't, I don't care if it's long. I didn't upload a video yesterday on Saturday, so you guys deserve two Resident Evil videos. Once we actually get going, though, this, uh, this episode, this, uh, episode, what is my country? What am I, stage Irish now? <laughs> this episode gets pretty good, actually. I think. It's locked. A carving of a helmet. <sighs> Come on, Chris. Get going. Get your ass in gear. <laughs> Are we, are we, yay, yay, we're actually leaving this damned hallway. I think this is where we're actually going to see some action. Because I think originally I decided to cut out the uh, shells and stuff. By the way, I don't think I explained this. I don't think I explained why this is post-commentary. Um, first of all, excuse me, princess, <laughs> if I'm not very good at this post-commentary. But I, this is my first time doing post-commentary because I've never actually lost an uh, audio before. But what I decided to do with this, oh, oh, that's right. We're, we're picking up the sun pendant medallion thing that we picked up earlier. But what I decided to do, yeah, yeah, let's take the sun crest, take that sun crest. What I decided to do was sorry i might have figured something out in the video or in the game <laughs> just by watching this video uh I'll, I'll talk about it once we get there but what i decided to do was have harry cullen uh send me a message in the middle of recording this my god this has turned into a train wreck what i decided to do was try to record um this game resident evil richard no on my laptop because i can actually place that on my bed and instead of stretching the cables all the way across my room it makes things a little bit easier um so this is such a train wreck now. And what happened was my my computer froze. And... <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I'm. I'm. And I lost the video. Harry's talking to me right now, and I'm I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be actually talking back to him right now, but I yeah. am. <laughs> I'm asking him if he wants to join us. He might. Oh, let's see if I can get him on. Oh my god, this is like... This is more like a live stream now because I'm talking to Harry. <laughs> Except it's a live stream for one person and he's not even watching the video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, by the way, we lit the candle. And we found out that, yeah, now we can see into that cupboard. And we only get the shotgun shells, so I leave them. Because I don't have the room to take the shotgun shells. Oh yes! Oh yes! The clip! I forgot about that. I actually forgot completely that you could carry more than one clip in one space. <laughs> um... He's not going to join, it doesn't look like. I'm going to tell him, ask him to give me 15 minutes. Uh, 
15 minutes so I can finish this video. I'm still not going up that staircase. I don't care what you guys say. That that bloody handprint just freaks me out. Actually, I think what I do is I'm like, okay, guys, I'll actually go up the stairs this time. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? No, because we're not right in front of the stairs, so it's giving us problems. So I actually go up the stairs and watch. I try the door. I'm like, okay, guys, I'll, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And it's locked. <laughs> I think I actually have the shield key somewhere. No, I already picked that the shield key up. I think it's the silver key, but I don't have it with me, so. So I can't go in there. Oh well. Richard! <laughs> How many times do I check that body? Oh yes, I forgot I didn't take the clips from him. Good on me. Because I need those now. For all the zombies I'm not killing. <laughs> I remember someone saying you gotta be really, really thrifty with ammo. Which I feel like I've been being really thrifty. I've only been wasting maybe a shot here and there. But no, I feel like I've been pretty thrifty with it, so. Uh, 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 uh. I can't do I can't do a Kennedy impersonation. Uh, uh. What do you mean? No, I can't do a Kennedy impersonation. That was terrible. Ugh. Terrible. I can't believe myself. I can't believe I even said that. And I'm I'm from Massachusetts. Shouldn't every person from Massachusetts be able to do a Kennedy impersonation? <laughs> Chowda. <laughs> no. Not at all. So, going back to the supply chest, dropping off some supplies. Yeah, exciting stuff right here. Oh my god, we're dropping off a sun crest and a lighter. I can't believe the this crazy stuff that's happening right now. Hehehehe. <laughs> And we're walking back out a door. Oh my god, so exciting. My heart is pounding. My my palms are getting sweaty. Uh, my forehead's breaking out in a sweat. <laughs> Starting to shake. <laughs> this is this is so stupid. Alright, let's make our way back. Make our way back? No, we're gonna just turn in circles, because I think it's, this is where I ended off the video, and I'm like, Alright guys, see you guys next time on Let's Play Resident Evil Blind with Neelix Fu. But we're not doing that this time, we're gonna check the map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map! I'm the map. <laughs> oh, come on, past me. Figure out what you want to do, because this is this is just painful to watch it watch. This is just painful to watch. This is just painful to watch at this point. don't even know where you're going oh i think i know never mind i think i know where you're going um so you remember how i said i thought i figured out something with the sun crest well i think well i don't think i know what i also did was i figured out something with a different crest well 
once we get past this clock. I really don't like how it changes camera angle right there at the clock. Because otherwise I could just run right by it. But anyway, we're going to take this wooden crest. Once we can actually get in front of it. Once we can actually get in front of it. Once we can actually get in front of it. Yeah, we're going to take the emblem. Oh, never mind. That's the wrong shape. I thought what we were going to be doing with this emblem we could also do with the sun crest we picked up. But that's shaped like a shield. The sun crest is shaped like a hexagon. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is absolutely fantastic. Um... Oh, wait, no, I went through the wrong door, and here I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh my god, where are we? Oh, wait, that's right, we're in the basement. Uh, let's get out of here because I still don't feel comfortable about this place. <laughs> um, oh, no, this is great, this is great. So I go in. Yep, nothing, nothing doing. There's Rebecca, still freaking out, freaking out about the wall opening as much as I was like, "Oh my God, what's happening?" And here I just casually saunter in, and be like, "I remember this shape of a crest, because remember I didn't pick it up before." Will you take the gold emblem? And I do. And that closes, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." Well, I think I figured out what 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 happens. So I figure out, use the emblem, and put that back in there, and that open up opens up the door. <laughs> I, I I I realized how bad that might actually be. Oh wait, let's hear what Rebecca says first. Chris, are you all right? <laughs> Oh, I love and hate Rebecca at the same time. It's it's great. It's horrible. It's great. She's got such a bad voice. But that makes it so much better. And here I am being like, I wish I could pick up stuff in this room. Anyway. No, I realized afterwards that this might almost seem unbelievable that I would get that puzzle on my first try. Honestly, it's not that hard of a puzzle. I mean, I've played plenty of other games where you have to... It's it's Indiana Jones logic, for crying out loud. You have a door that opens. And you've got something you're taking from it. You gotta, you gotta leave something that's of the same shape and size. It's just as simple as that. It's... In, it's... It's... Simple first grade Indiana Jones logic. After all, they used it in the first movie. This I wasn't expecting. I was not expecting the clock to actually move like that. I was expecting, like, the fireplace to flip open or something, and there'd be, like, a secret warehouse full of zombies or something like that. But anyway, we get the mansion key. This one looks copper. I think there's one more key, because I can't seem to open some doors. But I can't tell. Oh yes, one thing I realized is I can actually turn around the key, and there is the picture of the armor. <laughs> so now they'll actually conveniently label them armor key. And... Shield key. And I think the other one we have, the gold one, is the sword key. So we still need the helmet key. I'm kind of not sure where that is, but... Oh, we'll find it eventually, won't we? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. This is what freaks me out, actually, because I figure... You know what? I got the key. Maybe I'll go back and check on Rebecca. And I do. But you ready for this? Alright, so I go in and... No, Rebecca! <laughs> that actually freaked me out more than... Well, a lot of things. <laughs> Figured maybe she's in here, but no. Why would she be in there anyway? 
I don't know why it freaks me out so much. Probably just because she's completely useless <laughs> as far as a stars member goes. Um, or at least she seems to be. And I'm figuring, you know, maybe she went up ahead. I'm probably going to see her again. I doubt she's dead. <laughs> but it's locked from inside. But at the same time, it kind of, it still kind of makes me freak out because I'm expecting her in there. Like, not freak out like, oh, just like, uh-oh, what's going on? <laughs> what's been going on? And we're going to pace in front of the wall and run in front of the wall. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> there you go. Check the map. Uh, I think... Yeah, we're gonna have to go through that dog corridor at some point. I hate that we're gonna have to do that, but we're gonna... Actually, I think now that we can, that we have, um... What did we pick up? We picked up the shield key. So now I'm gonna... And I'm gonna... Uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna pretty much go around the entire mansion looking for shield doors uh as far as i can remember there's a couple on the second floor but not many on the first floor so at least not many that we've run into most of the locked doors that are left are all helmet doors i hate the music in here it's gr i love sorry i love the music in here but it puts me on edge because it's creepy off-tune piano music played pretty slowly <laughs> it's like laughing children kind of creepy yeah so we keep the shield key i think what ends up happening is we come right back down after trying out the key on a door and pick up the armor key again because i realized that i shouldn't have left that i could probably toss the knife at this point but because it's only it's only really using up an inventory space because I'm not running into any zombies. But at the same time, I'd feel bad about losing it because when I shoot a zombie three times and it falls down, that's an extra chunk of health that I can take out every time. So why leave it? <laughs> why am I laughing at that? Why leave a knife when I can when I can butcher a zombie with it. <laughs> uh, no, the carving of a helmet. So I was right. And I don't know why I go back for the silver key. Because that I, I, I should know that that's the armor key. But I'm just dumb. What can I say? Anyway, we're going back for the armor key. Taking some more time. Dicking around some more. Not knowing what we're doing some more. <laughs> and here I am, like... Alright, let's draw, trade the shield key for the for the helmet key. May, or, no, I think the mansion key might be it, even though I tried that in that door a while ago. Check. And what are you? You are the sword key. And I don't hit X here, so it doesn't end up calling it the sword key. I'm such a... I'm such a dummy. Oh, I really wish I could figure out a way to fix that shotgun. Because then I could actually, you know, carry the shells around with me and stuff. Nothing doing, though. Watch, I bet you the stuff to fix the shotgun is behind the dogs. That's where I would put it if I was a game developer, because then... Oh, I would hate playing through it. I don't know. I don't even know how much time we have left. We're almost at the end of the video. But I'm pretty sure we don't really do much else. Uh, what I think we do is we push the statue off. The statue got me high. The statue got me high. We push the statue off the balcony. And 
the little blue gem pops out, but that's about as far as we get because my video actually freezes once we once we leave this room, so I think it freezes once we leave this room. It looks like it's a little earlier though. Anyway, uh we kill this zombie, no problem. We don't take any damage from him. Video's about to cut out actually, so Yep, reload. Take a couple more pot shots at him. I think he's dead at this point. Yep, so that's it. That's the rest of the video. And what we do between this video and the next one is, like I said, we just push the statue off the balcony. And I've actually had my game running for a little while. <laughs> because I can't save. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's 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 it. Thank you guys for joining me for this really, really bad video of Res Let's Play Resident Evil Blind with Miox Fu, post-commentary edition. <laughs> I still can't believe how horrible that was. Oh my god, talking to Harry in the middle of it and all that. It's ridiculous. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Resident Evil Blind with Mio Expo, and hopefully I will be able to bring back the prestige and honor that the series has had before. <laughs> Take it easy.